Hey guys, we have it here. This is the aluminum hub. My first prototype, we're all out of 4130. But here's Axon's axe. Axe, so I'm gonna just for easy way to demonstrate. Here's the setup. So first, here's the hub. This part of the hub is where you, you mount your disc. And everything's made up for a Polaris Razor. And then here's where the bolt pattern, if you bolt up your ATV or UTV rim, the bolt pattern is four bolt by 156 mil. And this is roughly how it go. So your tapered wheel bearings go in and then you would put in your seal, but I won't put the seal in for this. Goes on like so. And that spacing now, you can adjust your spacing, but your caliper, well, a player's razor caliper will mount right on here to a soft player's razor disc or you can go with the Willwood uh, upgrade for uh, it's a six piston caliper. And then put this bearing on and your other seal would go on to it. And then collar, this is a Behringer axle nut. And there you go, that's bolted up to your axle. This whole setup here of the part not including the axle itself because there's so many different ones out there it weighs 3.6 pounds uh, the rim that i was using a beadlock rim or wheel it came in to just the rim at 17 pounds and then there's lots of different rims out there system 3 tire that was the 33 that worked out to about 31 inch they're the same as the alaskan bush wheel they came in at 28.5 pounds and also that also that dune tire that 35 inch 35 and a half inch exact measurements with six pounds of pressure in it it came in at the exact same weight so all this combined total not including the caliper because you can change all that and i'm also comparing it to the 35 inch alaskan bush wheels without their abi caliper because yeah, there's a lot of different variants there it came in at 48.8 pounds all set up and that's what's on my plane now and the alaskan 35 inch bush wheel that actually measures out to be 38 inches the same amount of pressure it comes in at 58 pounds so a lot of guys say well that's 60 pounds that includes the caliper and you can add those two pounds for the caliper on each side so you're saving pretty much 10, just shy of 10 pounds per side. Uh, you are losing a little bit of height, but there's lots of different options out there. So that's the ATV setup, guys. I will be selling these. So one of these sets are gonna go to Randy Appleton, and he's gonna try them out, and you will be able to see him too at the Airmen's Association. He's gonna have them all rigged up on his plane and set up, and. Yeah, it's another option to get you out in the bush. There's not, you're not replacing the Alaskan bush wheel. They're obviously certified. They're an awesome tire. So it, it just depends what you're doing with them. It just, it's a fraction of the cost to get in. So yeah, get out there, fly some bush and enjoy. Thanks. So the next step guys is putting these guys to the test out in the back country. So stay tuned for that video.